Hello guys. Happy New Year. As you can see, I'm kind of dressed up a little bit. A little. My baby's taking me out to eat for the New Year. Yeah, we headed to McDonald's. We are not going to McDonald's. They got a sale on uh, the Big Mac. Don't listen to him. I so love him. Get us a couple of big things with fries. I love him. We're gonna do some grown folk things when we get home. <laughs> Y'all don't mind me. You don't mind me. But we were talking. Let me turn it this way. There we go. We were talking, um, my mom had just called me. She was like, hey, on your way back, can you stop by the store for me and give me some crackling? Because I want to make your dad some crackling cornbread. And then, hey, you could really pass him up. You could pass all them up. The library. No. And so, um, he was like, what's crackling cornbread? And I was like, you don't know nothing about that, baby. That's country, country. I said, you take the crackling and you put it in the cornbread and you bake it. I told you that. Pork skin cornbread. My grandpa used to make it. Hey. We got a line there. Bro, I need to show you how truck drivers drive. <laughs> But um, he don't know nothing about that. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't like it. I do not like crackling cornbread or cornbread with crackling in it, because as you guys know, that crackling does not stay crunchy. Yeah. I don't so like it. Be soggy, soggy. It tastes like it still got a little crunch, like if you're using the real <coughs> crackling, mm -hmm. but. To me, just to me personally, it tastes like gristly. Like, oh, yeah, I don't know that. That's what it tastes like to me. Maybe if you chop it up and not leave it in big pieces, it will be okay. Sorry, guys. Maybe. I don't know. But um, then after we start talking about that, we start talking about. What do you eat with crackling cornbread? Hot sauce? Just whatever you eat with cornbread. Oh. It's just regular cornbread with crackling in it. Oh. I'm going to make some ground meat cornbread. Really? Yeah. I've made jalapeno cheese cornbread. And yeah. you like it? Yeah, that's good. But, um, y'all know what? I'm sorry, I guess I keep moving. Y'all know what? Oh my goodness. Can y'all see what's going on out there? And we're going to get some coffee because Bay feels like every time he makes a little drive, he needs some caffeine. Ten feeds are breezy. But, um, no, you're at the wrong one. But, um, oh my goodness, look at this line. Everybody wants coffee. Um, they making long drives too. You going in or you you gonna just get in the line? I hate, and then we start talking about that um, bacon with the rind on it. My grandpa used to love to cook that. I used to hate that. I did not like that bacon with the rind on it. See, the secret to the bacon with the rind is you cook the bacon, then when you get the bacon nice and crunchy, you flip it up on the side of the pan the way ain't nothing but the rind touching the bottom. That ain't nobody got it fries that rind the way it's real nice. And, you know, ain't nobody got time for that. Mm -hmm. You gotta take time for perfection and ain't the per nobody got time the for perfecities that. Daddy, of the you bacon. do know what time it is and you do know we gotta get there on time. Yeah. I okay. Do. Okay. Just making sure. We have reservations. I made reservations. They moving up.
Hey. Did I do that? I made reservations to Hugo's. And y'all go, y'all guys know I'm going to show y'all my plate when we get there. When I order my plate. Oh, can we order, can we order the oxtail soup? It looks so good. Bro, you eat oxtails. You want to know how I know you eat oxtails? Because I didn't fed you something. You just didn't know you was eating oxtails. You thought it was roast beef. This I just, I just took the meat off the tip, off the bone, and put it in the gravy. Why you got to be doing stuff like that? That's some bug. What you want? I want a coffee. Which one? Caramel macchiato. What size? Um, you can give me a tall. Hot. Yeah. Hot tall. Caramel macchiato. Macchiato. You can give me a grande. You want a shot, extra shot, no shot? Do you want, you're getting you a venti? White chocolate mocha? White chocolate, oh uh, yeah. With two extra shots? Uh, yeah. I'm not. But. Venti, venti me, man. But, um. Venti me. He's tripping, guys. Don't listen to him. We're spending New Year's. We're bringing in the New Year's. Um, just spending time together. Because I love my husband. And guess what? I'm also what? You're not going to say it? Hmm? Submissive. I don't care, guys. He can say that all he wants. He knows I'm submissive. He knows I'm submissive. But, um. <coughs> I want, um, extra whip. Oh, you caramel macchiato? Yeah. But let me show y'all my pooty booties. Hey, John, can you say hi? <laughs> Bye. He's eating a big sucker. And my mom them gave him that. I don't know why. Because they want to make my life a living hell. That's why. They want to sugar him up and send him home. Isn't he just precious? Oh my goodness. Give me my New Year's thing. Let me show them my New Year's thing. I was going to post my New Year's video, but Jonathan said I couldn't post it. He said I was too raw. So I can't post do it. Do what it do. This is going to go on my head today. I wanted to put it on my head when we go to the restaurant, but I don't know. They're going to put your ass out. <laughs> <laughs> they say they're going to put me out. I don't think they will. But Now what you want again? This is what I want to put on. Hmm? What'd you say? What you want again? Starbucks. What can I get for you? <gasps> yes, ma'am. Give me a grande. Give me a grande. Caramel macchiato hot. Caramel macchiato hot. With extra whip. With extra whip. And also... A venti white chocolate A venti mocha. white chocolate mocha. With two extra with shots. With two extra shots. That'll be and all. that'll be all. All right. Now we're gonna make a macchiato and whip, and then a venti white mocha. One shot. Can I have your name? Jonathan. Okay. Two shots, right? Okay. Twelve seventy-seven. I'll see you. Okay. Okay. She said, like she said one shot. She said quad shot. Oh, sorry. Sorry. But um, I'm not gonna hold y'all. We're gonna go ahead and get on this road because Jonathan's gonna have us Man, late. Man, he's rubbing sidewall to curb. He had a long night, baby. That's why he needed to come get some coffee. He gonna need a towel. I do that all the time. I don't try to hit the curbs. They're in my way. Go around them. Don't the curbs be in your way? No, go around the curb. Go I try curb. to. And sometimes they be in my way. You know how you go to the mechanic shop and when they finish work, they hand you a bill? Right. You bust a towel, I'm hand you one. I haven't busted a tire yet. 
I'm pretty sure they Sometimes close those to curbs are in my way, guys. I don't try to hit them. You have they just the time. Remember at the gas station? Oh my goodness, time? I'm not gonna hear the end of it. Nope. Listen to me. The she curbs. Was in the, she was the, pulling in there. I said, You're too close. She said, No, I'm not. I said, You're too close. She said, No, I'm not. Pow! That was like 50 years ago. First off. Second of all, who puts the stand in the middle of the road? Walmart. A third of all, players mess up. But anywho, <laughs> do the curbs be in y'all way too? Nope. I try to go around them and I keep hitting them. I whip curbs like they ain't nothing. But I thought when you were in the truck, it doesn't matter if you hit the curb. It's still bad for the tire. Why well, get a truck then? Hey, okay, I'm sorry. I'm oh, I'm ashy. Why y'all didn't tell me my knuckles was ashy? Let me get my lotion. But first, I want to tell y'all, I do not try to hit these curbs. They're just they just magically appear mm. out of nowhere. It's a little genie just throwing curbs at you. Yes. Mm. But let us get on this road. I'm going to put some lotion on my knuckles because I'm ashy. And um, I will tune back in when we get to Hugo's. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys.